Okay, so we're going to be going over how to make a paper space page and um, viewports and scalable viewports um, and then how to plot them so they come out at the right scale. So this is the OLA base plan, right? And the first thing we want to do is make sure that uh, our geometry is to scale. If you shrunk it or anything, if it's at the wrong size, then none of this scaling is going to work right. So 108 feet, that's how long it's supposed to be. So we're good. That command, by the way, was dim aligned. It allows me to dimension on a diagonal um, versus the regular dim linear, which is, um, you know, if I chose two points on a diagonal, it would just give me this horizontal dimension. Anywho, we're going to make a paper space tab. I'm going to delete this old one. Here, watch, just to show you that I'm deleting it, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell. Right click, delete, and it's going to delete it, and it's going to replace it with this layout one. Um, I'm going to select that layout one. This is paper space now. Uh, your geometry is not in paper space. The only thing in here is this viewport. One way of knowing it's a viewport is by selecting it and opening your quick properties, control one, to open that quick properties, and it'll tell you up top, this is a viewport that you selected. We're gonna delete that viewport because we don't need it right now. We're gonna make our own later. Right now, this gray rectangle is supposed to be our piece of paper and it's the wrong size. In order to fix that, we're gonna go down here on our paper space tab, which we can rename by double clicking it, 30 by 42 final presentation, OLA, whatever you want to call it, right click it, go to page setup manager, and in here, let me delete this, we're going to make a new one, all right, and call it 30 by 42, hey. This prompt is the same prompt you would get when you go to plot a single sheet, and we're just going to choose a plotter, choose AutoCAD PDF general documentation. Uh, we're going to choose our paper size, which is going to be Arch E1, Arch Expand E1, which has smaller margins than regular Arch E1. They're both 30 by 42. Leave this as layout, and leave this as one to one, change this to portrait in our case, and hit OK. So we've created this new page setup, select it, and select set current. You saw in the background our page is now portrait. You can close this. And now this is a 30 by 42, well, the, the margins of a, um, you know, just, just inside of a 30 by 42 rectangle. So to make a viewport, in order to view your geometry that is back in model space over here, we're going to go in paper space, we're going to go up top to the layout tab, and we're going to select the rectangular viewport. You can choose a if you want your viewport to be in a fancy shape, you know, to, to crop it around something, um, you can do that. We're just gonna make a rectangular one for now, and it doesn't really matter what size it is. Now, this is a viewport, okay? In order to activate a viewport, you have to double click it inside of it, okay? Now, when I pan around, I'm panning around inside of the viewport and this is where my geometry is. If I zoom in, that's where my geometry is. And if I want to move the page around, I have to double click outside of the viewport. If I want to maximize the viewport, there's a couple of ways to do that. I can double click on the frame of the viewport and that'll maximize it. And I can click this button down here to minimize the viewport again. Or I can click that same button once I'm inside the viewport. I can click that same button down here to maximize the viewport. Anywho, if I want this geometry inside this viewport to be at 1 to 40 scale on my 30 by 42 page, I go down here to this little, little, little menu, click it, and select 1 inch equals 40 feet. It's going to zoom to 1 inch equals 40 feet. And now if I pan and zoom, I just screwed up the scale, right? If you look down here, it's not one inch to 40 feet anymore. I need to change that one inch to 40 feet again. It, it was almost there, so it barely changed. But you see it down here, it says one inch equals 40 feet. Lock the viewport now. And now when you zoom in and out, no matter if the viewport is active or not, 
you can zoom in and out without changing the scale of this drawing on this 30 by 42 page. So what you can do now is set this viewport change. So what, what I did just then was I selected the viewport, went back to my home tab up top, and I'm changing the layer of the viewport with this drop down. I'm going to change it to def points. Okay. If your def points is turned off, I think it comes turned off. Um, it's not a big deal. All right. Just click yes through the error messages and it'll look like this. All right. You can still double click into it. I would unfreeze it. Um, anywho, you see now I can't select it. So I'm going to go in here and unfreeze it or turn it back on. Sorry. Now I can come in here and select this viewport and move it around as I please. And now in order to plot this page, you're just going to go to plot and you can copy this viewport, change the scale, unlock it, change the scale to 20 scale, do a little blow up, lock it, um, you know, do whatever you want to do. And there's actually a command to turn a rectangular viewport into a polygonal, polygonal viewport. I don't know, words. Um, I forget the command right now, but that's how you do that. In order to plot it, you can watch my other video or I'll just show you. You just choose AutoCAD PDF general documentation, Arch Expand E1 30 by 42. You know, I know this list is scary, but just just find it. It's it's in there. Plot style, do um do like a grayscale or monochrome. You should have those. Portrait, scale one to one, layout, good to go. Preview, let's see what it looks like. There you go. That's our geometry at one inch equals 50 feet on a 30 by 42 page. And you can exit and plot from there and do whatever you wish with it. Good luck.